A very good day to you. Welcome to Herman Manyora's YouTube channel. My name is Jadil Cabrera. So glad that you're joining us for Political Conversations. Conversation which I hope edifies, builds this country. Even as we're progressing post this year's elections, I'm joined by Herman Manyora, political analyst, strategist, commentator. How are you doing? Wonderful. Naskia, you've stopped drinking tea at media houses. Is that true? Uh, yeah, you haven't yeah, been yeah. seen anywhere. I want to drink mine, by the way. Who is in charge of hospitality? <laughs> Can I have my own tea? They are bringing tea. They are bringing tea. Okay, fine. But why are you going to media houses? Is this true that this election has really hit you hard? Because on Monday you challenged me, told me I haven't asked you whether you are wrong or not, but I think we've had this discussion. Is this why you're not going to media no, houses? No, no. I just took a break. Mm. And the reasons are very clear to me. I had to be careful what I could say. Right, so how careful? Because I think Kenyans have moved beyond Because you see, the problem the is, if I go to a media house, especially during the intervening period between the election and now, sort of things I would have said would have made many people uncomfortable. Mm. Even those who, have, who, are, who had won the election, yeah, I want to including the president. They would be very uncomfort uncomfortable, some of the things I would say. <laughs> what, so I chose not to go. What is there to say? Because I think mm. we've had several shows post-elections. Mm. I don't think there's anything that has really hurt no, anyone from what you see, there's so say. much you can say. You know, on a live show, on a live show, there are things you can say you can't retract. Oh, yeah? This is recorded. We can retract. If you can edit. <laughs> yeah. But there is live. Mm. So you need to be very careful. Have you been damaged? Not that I'm afraid. Uh, I just want to give them space so that they don't say we, we began hitting them too early. I, I want to know, have you been mm. damaged? There were a lot of conversation about false prophet, prophet of doom, Who? whatever you say, you yourself, whatever, what you've been There's preaching here hasn't come to life. not a single thing I've said that has not worked. What we said in 2017, we were proved right by the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. What we said in this election, Nothing has gone wrong. Even before you bring in horse Camargo mm. and a lot of other things that we saw during the Supreme Court hearing, but even before you bring that, I said William Ruto would not win the election. And I said for him to win the election, there were hurdles which I didn't see him getting over. Mm -hmm. Nothing changed. I said for William Ruto to win this election, he needed to have an 80% turnout in Mount Kenya, which will be slightly by maybe 10 or so percentage points below Uhuru's turnout, because he needed the Uhuru's numbers. Did he get 80%? He did not get 80%. I said, if he got 80%, Raila would need, he will need to contain Raila to below 20%. As it were, the turnout was about 60%, way below the 80%. So then Raila didn't need the 20% plus. He got about 16, which is more than he needed. I said for Ruto to win the election, he needed to upstage Raila in at least three of the Raila strongholds, Western, Coast, and Ukamban. Did he upstage Raila in any of those? No. Or at the very least to go mm. neck and neck? Did mm. he get 50% of Western? No. Did he get 50% of Coast? Did he get 50% of... So everything that I said, nothing changed. Mm. But, but the, Absolutely the question would be, were you he wrong He didn't even get 40% in any of those regions. Yeah. So nothing really changed. But remember, I put a rider. I said William Ruto would not win the election. But Raila could lose the election. Mm -hmm. So Raila, Raila, Raila went ahead to lose the election. These Ruto are, did not win the election. Yeah. Raila went ahead to lose the election. And I'm speaking English. Very simple English. These are ultimate. So those who are saying profit, what profit up. And then some people are arguing. Uh, one of the reasons why I don't want to go and debate people in t on TV. Uh, because I could slap them. <laughs> they are talking as if then Raila got 5 million and Ruto got 8 million. Mm -hmm. To concentrate your argument on the victory, there must be a very clear victory. That victory is not anything you can talk home about. Mm -hmm. A victory of... 76.9 and 7.1, that's not, they are just neck, neck there, you know, neck and neck. So what I'm saying. So what is this that I said that hasn't worked? BBI? Ruto is the president. Let's start with that. You know, it's like saying you pretty much analysis. Yeah. As an old versus man, you. I, mm. I don't know those things. Yeah. They are still there. Yes. I don't follow football. So you say, because Arsenal has a problem with injuries. Two of utility players, I think there are some called utility, yeah. are not going to be fielded. Mm. 
One had a red card, they will not play. Yeah. Another one has an injury. Okay? Yeah. Unfortunately for them, the one who was red carded is actually the goalkeeper. And then you point at a few other things, including past performance, and you say, Man, you will beat them. Mm. Then now we are meeting to discuss post match yes. analysis. Yeah. I told you, Man, you will, <laughs> Arsenal will win. Yeah. But you are forgetting it was an own goal or at least a penalty. So, you know, that is a cheap argument. Then we, there, should, there will be no point of, of us engaging in the post match analysis. Mm. If the only argument you are putting on the table is that at the end of the day, at the end of the match, mm. it is Arsenal who had won. That's not a, there's, there's no point of talking. That, that's one of the reasons why I'm not going to TV. The elections. Because the, people just say, Ruto is the president. Yeah. Yes, Ruto is the president. Does it rubbish any of the things we said? But I'm looking Can at, we look at what could have happened mm. that affected both sides mm. and then sort of explain why he's now the president? I would want to know, yeah. would you then agree because it's the end? That yes. matters. Yes. Would you then say that Ruto is more of a pro than Raila? Because looking at this article, I told you we'll talk about this article, revealed yes. how top CSSPS yes, yes. and Raila's aid bungled Azimio. Yes, yes. Is Ruto more of a pro compared to Raila? Because the mistakes that we saw with, within Azimio, why didn't Raila deal with them? Mm. Uh, this article speaks about the CSS assuring Raila they are going to win. Uh, it's, it's as if they didn't do their job as Raila thought. How comes Raila lost, Ruto won? Does this mean Ruto? It's more of a problem. Ruto did not win. Raila lost. You still stand apology. with that. And I've said this many times. Yeah. And I'm not the only one. Everybody has said, Raila does not run an organized campaign. It's like, he doesn't like structure. You know, structure imposes discipline on you. That's the problem with organization and structure. Mm. If you create an organization, an organized way of doing things, it becomes an institution. By the way, an institution is an organized way of doing things. Mm. You achieve it through a structure. So if you are going approaching something in a structured way, it limits the person. So let's, let's explain this way, for example. If you have an organized way of doing things, even the money to be spent will be known mm. by the team. Not you, the candidate, alone. The team will know. Okay. You may have an influence of how that money is spent, but you don't have the final word. Mm. Somebody can, can stop you from doing something and you are the candidate. Mm. You have to convince them why you should go in this direction as opposed to this direction. So some candidates, and I think Raila is one of those candidates, want to be in control mm. of the things. Unfortunately, sometimes... You, it may eat into your into your 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 your, your campaign. That this is what happens to Raila, mm. so that his campaign is rarely structured. Do, was there a general yeah. perspective perception? Yeah. Uh, I mean that he would win because he has government. Do you think this could be one of his biggest? I don't. Doing? I don't view things that way. Uh, you see, again, you go back to the numbers. If Raila gets seven million and Ruto gets seven million, and Raila is running a completely disorganized non-structured campaign. Yeah. I can say this if he's here, yeah. I'll tell him. Yeah. No, completely. None. No organization, no structure. Mm. And he gets 7 million votes. Then you must fear him. So the, people like Raila ride to victory through being popular. Mm. They are very attractive candidates. And that may give you victory, even as an MP if you are running. You are so popular that you are, your opponents stand no chance. Because of your popularity. So whether you have a structure or not, that's how Raila rides his campaign. Mm. So if he had just put in some structure, he would have beaten Ruto badly. Because if you can get 7 million votes mm. without a structure, you can imagine how, what you'll get if you had a structure. I want to know this. But we are not going because if you tell the Azimio people, including Raila, they will talk about horse Camargo. Yeah. Yes. They won. So it's Yeah, yeah. Camargo. They say hey, these guys, you know, foreigners. Yeah. And so on and so forth. They'll you, talk you about the Supreme Court. You, you don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. there there'll be time. The Supreme Court is releasing their recent judgment in how many days from now? I think a week or two. No. So on 26th. 26th. Yeah. And I'll read it 
three times uh. after having perused it through. Then mm. I read three times. Then I'll talk to the Supreme Court judges. What next now? What, what's next now for Raila? Can he ever become president? I, I was telling you earlier, people think he wasn't meant to be. He's the guy who's supposed to fight for us. There are but people like wasn't Raila. Meant to be. Well, the world has produced many people like Raila who have some so close and never won. The Bible has Moses. He saw the promised land, but he never got the promised land. Martin Luther King Jr. He said he had been to the mountaintop and that he had seen the promised land. And he actually said, I may not get there with you. So there are people like Raila, mm -hmm. who may lead the people to the promised land. Just get when it is yonder there and you're happy and you don't get there. It is possible. But it's still possible he can be president. I don't want to ask, ask you me about... How. I'm Please not going ask to ask me. you about age, but, but how? What is age? There have been people who have been president much older than Raila. Mm. Yeah. Again, there is something many people are forgetting. And I want to remind Kenyans, going forward, politicians, and I saw Kalonzo saying they are criticizing government, mm. I saw Kinaraila saying they are preparing for 2027, all of them are wrong. Mm. We must stop seeing politics and elections in five-year circles. Mm. You get it? What, what does that mean? We are entering our face in our politics. Where to finish five years is not going to be guaranteed. Mm. Because we run a system that is not entirely presidential, is not entirely parliamentary. And I'm telling you, in, and you've heard me say earlier, mm. when I was warning either Raila or Ruto, whoever wins, mm. they must pick good cabinet, they must address the problems facing this country, they could be impeached. Do you remember? Mm. I said, Raila, if you go in, you, you might be the first president to be impeached. Yeah. Remember I said that? Yeah. So people should stop seeing things in 27, 32, 37, 42. No, we are, we are past that. But, but, but I'd argue, so you can find we have an election next year. I'd argue, look at Ruto's numbers in parliament and Senate. It's not about can parliament. Can someone really It's not about him? parliament. It's not about parliament. It is about the dynamics of politics. It is about the dynamics of politics. Today you have the numbers. Tomorrow you don't have. Politics is cyclic. The people celebrating today will be the people crying and mourning the next time, the next cycle. Is it really? Yeah. I was giving an example of the Supreme Court. You saw in 2017, Kinara Ila, wow, hugging each other. And, like in yeah. Who was celebrating this time? Grand Mula. That's how life is. M many people choose not to understand life. Life moves in its own waves. Today it is you, tomorrow it is somebody else. Today you suffer, tomorrow you are laughing. Mm. Today you live in Kibra, tomorrow your children cross over to Langata. As the children of Langata used to say and tell my children, do you see Kibra there? We are here with you. Tomorrow you could cross the valley and live in Kibra. Today your family is in Karen, your grandchildren will live in Dandora. That's how life seems to work. So politics is the same. The point I'm trying to make now is that um, we should stop seeing things in terms of five year, five year. Mm. If you are a politician like Alonzo or Raila Odinga, your business is to get power tomorrow, not after five years. Only then will the president work. Mm. If we tell Ruto he will challenge him in 2027, he will not work. But if he knows we can remove him tomorrow. Mm. Because I've said we are quasi-presidential, Quasi parliamentary. In the UK, Unaskia Kidogo Serkali Mianguka. India, Pakistan, mm -hmm. Japan, Italy. Those are parliamentary systems. Ours is not purely presidential. So we should stop seeing things like in the American model, where elections are every four years. Mm -hmm. Our elections in the future are not necessarily going to wait for five years. And I've asked you before is there anyone? who can deal with Ruto now, if not Raila Odinga, you've said. Raila is there. He can deal with him. Others are there. Manyora is there. Somebody is there. Mm. Who tells you you can't deal with Ruto? Who is Ruto? Thanks so much for tuning in to a political conversation. My name is Gerald Cabrera. Have yourself a lovely rest of your day.